What we have here is an electric PTO clutch off of one of my Super Cubs. This is off of one of the 2284s that I've got. Uh, this clutch obviously is shot. You can tell it got hot. The bearing got really hot. A couple of the ball bearings are missing out of there. And I had the engine out on the bench to do some other work, and I thought, you know what, I'm getting rid of this clutch while I got this engine out because I don't ever use this tractor to run any attachments off the PTO clutch. Um, but we get a lot of people that always ask, well, what's the best way to get one of these clutches off? How do you get this off the engine? They're always stuck on the, on the crankshaft. They're always so tight. What kind of puller do you use? And I always respond that I use an air chisel. And they're like, no, nah, <laughs> seriously, how the hell is that supposed to work? What do you really use? Three-jaw puller or two-jaw puller, you know, what, what kind of special puller to use to get these clutches off without damaging them? I use this, this uh, Harbor Freight air chisel that I've had for close to 20 years now, and it still works fine, still does the job, and I'll show you right here how simple it is to use an air chisel to remove one of these electric PTO clutches while I have this engine out on the bench. You can see it. I'll show you here uh, taking the clutch off, and then I'll explain the process to you afterwards. See that? Looked simple enough, didn't it? Just shook that electric PTO clutch right off of that crankshaft. So here's the important part that you got to know, um, because if you try to just use an air chisel and hammer away at this, that air chisel is going to go through the bearing, it's going to go through a seal, it's going to go through who knows what else, and ruin a bunch of stuff. So you have to do this in a certain way in order for it to work and not ruin things. So what you have to start with is you take the bolt out of your crankshaft that's holding the PTO clutch on there, and you find another one just like it. When I say just like it, you want one that's the same thread so it can thread into the crankshaft. Now in the center of the head of the new bolt you have, you want to just take a drill bit and drill an indent into the head. You don't have to go real deep. You just want to create a pocket for the tip of your air chisel bit to sit in so that way it's just not jumping all over the place. It has a way to line it up, center it up, and keep it in place to concentrate all of that vibration right in one spot and just it, it just keeps your air chisel from wandering away and damaging the pulley the bearing a seal or anything like that so here's the end of the bit that i use in the air chisel as you can see it doesn't have a sharp point on it or anything it has a rounded off end so that rounded off end fits right down in the dimple that you drill in the head of that new bolt you're going to use and you take that new bolt and you thread it in tight to the crankshaft so that way it can't it can't uh, mess up the threads in the crankshaft or anything like that. It's got nowhere to go. And then you're going to take the air chisel and hold it tight against that, that bolt with the rounded off end of the bit into that dimple in the bolt. Squeeze the trigger and it's going to send that vibration through the, the crankshaft and um, just let that PTO clutch start to vibrate and wiggle down the, the um, crankshaft there. And it works for stuck pulleys and things like that. Uh, this process also works great for removing steering wheels and uh, things on spline shafts. And there's a lot of different ways you can use this um, this air chisel set up, you know, um, the concept to remove stuff that's stuck on. Uh, sometimes it does take some penetrating oil sprayed in there. You know, you can see I've got a pry bar behind there because, um, you know, it makes it easier to just guide that thing down the crankshaft. You have a pry bar on there, but simple and easy. You know, nothing was damaged, no pullers and none of that other stuff. Just a couple seconds with the air chisel and done. So that's going to do it for this video here. I've got to get back to putting this engine back in my Super Cub so I can get back to using it. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel.